What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom knife uh, from a maker that I am really not familiar with. I've never seen his work before, but uh, I've been pretty impressed thus far. So uh, the knife here is a custom by a gentleman named Alan Kritzman. There's his maker's mark. And it popped up on one of the, uh, you know, knife sale websites. I think it was Knife Center. And I figured I would give it a shot and just try it out. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed, specifically with the action. It's incredibly smooth um, for a, a maker that I've never heard of before. But we'll get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the specs. So we have a three and a quarter inch blade of CPM 154. A very classic drop point. Um, pretty much a full flat grind except for this small portion up here. So I'd say three quarters of the way uh, full flat grind. Or three quarter of the way flat grind rather, not full flat grind. Um, it's definitely, you can tell that this is like a handmade blade by looking at it. Um, the Between the hand rub set and finish and the way that the edge comes to that, you can see this polished portion um, just above that bevel. You can tell that it's been done by hand uh, with fine grit sandpaper. Uh, it's got an extremely sharp edge on it. Um, I <laughs> buy a lot of custom knives and that's one thing that makers can neglect from time to time is putting a Putting a really good edge on their knife. Sorry, I've got bugs flying all in and out of my face. Um, so it, it always it, it always makes me happy when I see that the maker obviously intended for the knife to be used and not just as like a collector's piece or a trade piece or something like that. Um, he didn't make it just for the looks or or for the uh, you know the status symbol or whatever. Um, incredibly sharp edge. And an obviously incredibly useful blade shape for use. Um, the the uh, drop point design gives you belly, gives you uh, enough straight uh, edge. It's, it does everything. Uh, good piercing. So, one second. Hold on. I got bug. God, that's annoying. Nothing worse than humid weather with bugs in your face. Um, so, yeah, a three and a quarter inch blade. Um, the handle length is four and a half inches, obviously titanium, not the most flashy finish, although he did um, take the time to anodize all of the hardware. I mean, not the most even anodization. You can see it's different colors in there. I don't know if that's meant to mimic like a Mokutai or Timascus, um, or if it's just not quite an even anodization, but I like the look of it. Um, definitely needed a little bit of color in such a plain knife. Um, almost looks like uh, you know, like a a Kaiser with the <laughs> the same like bead blasted and then you know satin finished blade. Um, this is very heavily bead blasted, so that it it actually gives texture to the titanium. It's not smooth. You can feel um, the little divots and pockets in the titanium from the bead blasting. So that gives you a little bit of uh, tactility. The pocket clip is pretty straightforward. Um, it's not super deep carry. Um, it's, I mean, it, it's perfect for in and out of the pocket, but it's, there's definitely nothing flashy about that pocket clip and really about the whole knife. There's nothing that you would say is really flashy. Even the, the back spacer is the same bead blasted titanium. Um, as the as the handles which you know it's nice it matches uh, ergonomically extremely comfortable it's it's as plain Jane as it gets you know it it swells slightly down here towards the butt of the the handle um, and you've got the little finger groove uh, to lock you in there no jimping up top but again with the way that the handle swells you really don't need it uh, so if I had to use a single word to describe the knife, it would probably be utilitarian. 
um, extremely utilitarian design. So this does run on caged ceramic bearings uh, and it does have a ceramic detent and that action is just dialed in. Uh, really, really impressive for a newer maker. There's a tiny bit, um, over the few weeks that I've been using it, there's a tiny bit of lock stick developing, um, but that would be easy enough to take care of with a pencil or a Sharpie, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just kind of hoping it works itself out. Uh, other areas where you can tell it's a, a newer maker are the tolerances. You can see in there, not the, not the tightest of tolerances, although I will say there is zero blade play. Um, he did a good job of making sure that this blade is absolutely rock solid when it's locked open. It does not go anywhere. Um, the flipping action is nice and snappy. You've seen obviously the smooth closing action. Um, not the thickest uh, stop pin, but I, I don't think necessary uh, for the type of knife that this is. Uh, as far as weight goes, it's pretty nice on the weight as well. Um, it's under four ounces, I think like 3.8, 3.8 ounces uh, for a seven and three quarter inch knife overall. That's not, that's not too bad at all. <clears throat> I'd say the most attractive part of this knife, uh, aside from this really snappy action, um, is the fact that it's a handmade custom knife um, that I got for $350 brand new. Um, so there are new makers that do what Alan here did, which is you know hone their craft and then sell what they make um, at a price that I guess addresses the fact that they're not a master craftsman yet. Um, so you're not paying those outrageous prices um, that you would for a secondary market like Southern Knife or Rexford or something like that. Um, you know, 350 bucks by no means is that cheap um, or inexpensive, but it's for a fully handmade custom knife with relatively top of the line materials and excellent action. Um, I'll, I've paid way more for way less from a knife, so um, I'm definitely happy with the purchase. I think it's easily up there um, above, in, above, in my mind, what you would get out of a Sebenza, so I can definitely justify the price for me, um, but, you know, that's obviously a personal choice, you, you know, whether you have the you know the resources to spend that kind of money on a knife period um but if you do you know i think it's kind of a, it would behoove you to get a custom knife um that you know has been absolutely uh looked at and and gone over uh by the maker himself to to be sure that it's up to his standard so um yeah for 350 bucks i would buy this uh all day all day for 350 bucks. Um, I, I know they had a couple of more on Knife Center. I don't know if they've sold. I, like I said, I bought this like, I guess about a month ago and I've been using it pretty regularly um, since then. You can hear the lock stick. Um, but I'm hoping that that works itself out rather than me having to use um, like pencil or, or like I said, Sharpie. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I guess I could always do like an update video on this knife uh, in the future. Um, I mean, it was smooth right from the beginning, so it's not like that has really changed much. Um, the, really, the only change that I've seen is I've, I have had to, t I've had to tighten the um, the pivot a couple of times uh, as it started to loosen up just a bit. Uh, I, I need to, I still need to lock tight the pivot. Uh, it's you can see it's starting to drift just a little bit to the um, show side uh, just from me doing this video. So uh, that's really because of the, the the action's pretty snappy, and I think that that jar causes the uh, or that jarring causes the pivot to loosen a little bit. So I think that, I think it's time this knife got the uh, the Loctite treatment. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean that's pretty much it for the knife. Like I said, it's very plain. Uh, obviously, it does have a little bit of color with the anodized hardware, um, and you could probably 
you could probably compare this to a lot of other knives and find similarities just because of how simple the design is. Um, but I think it's executed well. Um, he did a really good job, like I said, with the flipping action. And price-wise, it's kind of hard to beat a custom knife, um, especially a folding knife, uh, for 350 bucks. So, um, you know, definitely this is the kind of thing appeals to you. Keep your eyes peeled for that logo, Alan Kritzman. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, be sure to enter my custom knife giveaway for an Anton Knives Custom. It's now starting to rain harder, so that's definitely time for me to wrap it up. Uh, yeah, take it easy. See you on the next one.